uh, let's fix this problem that we have here. So, I mean, the second class here, and the problem that is here is that if I go to the table, this is the class lecturers table, you'll notice that there's just one name here. It's the same teacher we've been adding and removing. And every time we add and remove that teacher, a new record is created. This should not be the case. All we need to do is, if the record exists, we should either disable or enable it without creating new records to fill up the database. So things are not working as they're supposed to. And so let's see what we can do about that. So to figure out the problem, let's look at what we have here and do some testing. So we have five records here. If I come here and remove this user, let me search for the user and select to remove. So I've removed that lecturer. If I come down here, I will see that uh, correctly it has written that this user is disabled. So this is working fine. But if I try to add a new lecturer here and click select you will notice that once i refresh a new record number six is created with a disabled of zero this should not be the case so what i want us to do is figure this out so let me come to go to controllers and single class controller now in here, the reason I've come here is because this is where uh, when we want to add, this is the lecturer add function. So when we want to add a lecturer, that's when the problem comes in. When removing, there's no problem, but when adding, there is. So this is why I'm coming here. And let's follow this along. So there's uh, this point where we post something, and this is for the search. So this is working fine, but this is where we post things. So the problem must be here. So the issue here is that it's looking for a record where disabled is equal to zero, if that exists. Now, if looking at our table right now, let me do this. Now, once we try to remove this one, the disabled is going to go to one, right? Let's do that real quick and select so we've removed that one so at this point all disabled is one which means this query will return an empty string an empty result because there's no record with disabled is equal to zero all of them are disabled is equal to one where the user id is the same and the class id is the same so in this case, what happens is if this didn't go very well, if not, then it creates a new record here. Um, is that so? Wait a minute. That lecture already belongs to this class. Okay. Yeah, so it runs this query here. And then, uh, okay, so this is the query that's being run. And then if it doesn't work out here, this is when it comes to that lecturer already belongs to this class. So this is a problem here. So what we need to first do is remove this disabled because I just wanted to find at least one record there. There should always only be one record of the same person in the same class. So once I um, try to add now, let me go here and try to add after we've removed that part, I'll get an error that says that lecture already belongs to the class, which is because of this. So it means once uh, a lecturer is found, it comes here. Now, before we show this, we're supposed to check whether that user is active or not before we decide to throw this error. So let's say check if user is active, like so. Okay, 
So how do we know if the user is active? Now, if a result was returned, it means we have a result over here. So instead of, I will add a variable here and say check is equal to, hopefully I haven't used check here yet to avoid collisions. Did I use it? Apparently not. Okay, great. So we are checking. Uh, the reason I'm adding this variable is so that I can get capture the result of this. If it does come back, I'll put it in here. So at this point, we will have check here. So I can do show just to show that we do have that. So let's refresh to resend the data. And then you will see that uh, this is what we get. Okay, so ID is equal to one. Hmm, why am I getting just the ID? This is not good. Okay, let me get everything. It's because here I selected only ID, but there are more things than uh, ID that I need. What I actually need is the disabled. Okay. I don't want to get the whole row, just disabled should be enough. Now, if I want to add more columns, just put a comma and add ID, that way I can get two items from that. So let me refresh here once more. So now you see I get my ID and the disabled value. Now, the reason I want the disabled is to check if it's one or zero. So if disabled is equal to one, so I'll say if here is set, like so, check. So let's see how the thing is structured. So check has the first item in zero and then we go to disabled. So we'll put a zero. So if it said check disabled and the same value, now I need to close this one here and then let's say the same value is equal to one, right? Which means it's disabled. So at this point, we don't even need to say is equal to one because one is like true. And if it's disabled, it will be zero. So it will be false. So we can just use as it is like this. But if you want, you can say equal to one or equal to zero. But here we are checking if it is true. So if it is disabled and it exists, then, or we just say if is set, um, I think let's, let's go step by step here. Let me move this down like so. Close this like that, okay. So if it's not set for some reason, which, was, which is going to be very rare, uh, nonetheless, let's put a, an error there. Okay. But then if it is set, then let's check again for a different if statement. So say if like this, check disabled, which means if it is uh, true, if it is disabled. So if it's disabled, we have to enable it. Otherwise, we say uh yes we run this so i'll put another else statement here and then move this permanently in there like so okay cool this will rarely fire uh, so you may leave that out but who knows it may come in handy so if the thing is disabled if it is not disabled, then we know that that lecturer belongs to the class. If it isn't, then we need to do one of these, an update. So the good thing is we do have the ID of this item. And so we can do an update of the disabled. So the formula for that is right here. And we do need to redirect after doing this. 
So let me copy this here and put it right here. Like so. Okay. Okay, good. So the only thing I need here is disabled. Uh, wait a minute. Disabled. I want this one to be equal to zero because we are we want to enable this whole thing. And uh, hmm. wait a second, wait a second. Okay, I have the ID, so that's all good. Remove that, remove that, remove that. Let's move that in. Okay, so disabled is equal to zero. And then here, let's put update. Uh -huh. Select update. And let's add the ID. And the ID will come from check. So we make sure that's the one we were checking for. So let's say ID comma, and then this array with that value, like that. And uh, that should solve the problem. Okay, a little bit more code, but uh, yeah. Let's give it a test run, shall we? Okay, so now um, we have six rows here. Oh, so it has worked there. Uh, it has already removed one from the disabled. And so we have this. So let me try again to remove this user. Vibe. Okay, already removed. Yes. Okay, let's add him back. Okay, good. So we just want to make sure that we haven't added one more record here. Let me click there and you see we haven't. So now I can truncate go to operations and remove everything here to start afresh because those other rows are not supposed to be there. And go back to browse. So it's empty now, no teachers here. Let's add one, search, select, cool. Let's remove this guy, select, Select, cool. Uh, let's add him again. Add, add. So now to confirm that it has worked, we should only see one row, regardless how many times we removed or added the same user. And there we go, we see one record. Okay, good. So I'll see you in the next video.